Next on Images Imágenes, world-renowned jewelry designer Nuria Martin Brillenberg. Saludos, welcome to Images Imágenes, I'm Miguel Perez. She has been hailed by jewelry and art collectors throughout Europe, South America, and the Far East for her creations of unique gold and silver jewelry with a distinctive Hispanic style. She's one of the top jewelry designers in the world, and we are happy to have Nuria Martin Brillenberg on the program today. Welcome to Images Imágenes. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. Um, let's begin with what made you an artist, first of all. You were born in Venezuela and grew up in Spain. Correct. What happened in Spain that inspired you to become an artist? Well, in, in Spain, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I get my inspiration from Spain, but I was living there from uh, eight months until I got uh, 15 years. Then I, I think I get more my inspiration when I went to Mexico to study my career. I'm originally interior designer. So you studied to be an interior designer? Correct. And you actually, actually practiced that career for quite a while? Yeah, I, uh, I practiced that uh, for quite a while, but uh, it was more uh, creative, this uh, type of uh, career, because I love it. But even before you were an interior designer, you were already a painter? Correct. Well, I've been painting all my life. I mean, I, I think I, I uh, when I was born, I was born with a, a pencil in my hand because I've been told oh, since I was very uh, little to do all this kind of uh, work for the, the school. And when somebody wants something, you know, to, to the, I don't know how is the traduction in English, but for the, can I, cartelera? Sure, Which, sure, for the marquee. Correct, and then I, everybody told me, Nuria, could you please do this for us? And, and then I, uh, I combined my career uh, the interior designer uh, with painting, because then I could sell my paints, of course. Okay, so tell me how you became a jewelry designer then. Uh, I became a jewelry designer by coincidence. <laughs> it's, it's fun, but it's, it's like that. It's a very fun history. I, um, I have uh, three brothers, and one of those, it's uh, always have something, you know, to sell or to carry or to do. And that day, he was, he had uh, some stones, and he said, you know, I have those stones, and you must buy those stones for me. I say, I don't have any money. And she said, no, 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 I don't want money for you, but you have a, a car. In that time, I had a, a little car, you know, a Renault 5, and she said, you never use it, I want. And I mean, we can interchange, you know, the stones for the car. I said, well, why not? This is a deal. Say, but not so you only gave him this. your car, he gave you some stones. <laughs> yes, okay. but very nice. <laughs> no, we were even, believe okay. me. And then uh, he, he also introduced me a person who was, he's still working for me, and I'm very happy because we've been growing together, but he's really a master of, uh, of jeweler. And um, then I make some draws, and uh, I had my first collection, eight pieces. So in other words, you drew this on paper. Yes. You, your brother introduced you to this man. Correct. Who actually does the uh, the artwork, the Correct. Uh, the jewelry. Work. Yes, yes. And and uh, my first collection, uh, how to say that, born. And uh, then I had these eight pieces, and I went to Boston. And uh, a friend of mine, she said, "Oh, how beautiful jewelry you're wearing." And I said, "Who who did that?" I said, "No." It's mine. I designed it. Say it really? I don't believe that. So yes, yes. So then you should see a friend of mine that she's a very good jeweler here, and she's a, she have to see your uh, your designs. And then we went there, and the lady was very uh, impressed, and uh, she also gave me some stones of her uh, store, and then she made me make some drawers, and she was so happy. And I had my first order. I mean, she says. Then, when you finish all this, you came to me and you show me what you did, and like Where this. was the car exchange? I'm still stuck back there. The car exchange for the stones, <laughs> was this back in Mexico? It was, no, it was in Caracas. In Venezuela? Yes. And from there, you flew to Boston, and so you and were... And then from there, I flew to Boston. I've been all my life, you know... Traveling all over traveling, the Traveling, yeah. And that, that tra those travels have influenced your designs? I think so. Yes, very much, because each country is completely different, each is a, as a, as a person, you know, like every person is completely different, and 
have uh, his own personality, also countries, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, what probably goes here and everybody love uh, in Spain doesn't go very well, or or in Italy either. On uh, each I, piece have his own market. But I've heard it said that your jewelry has a Hispanic flavor. If, well, yes. Uh, I don't want to say like it's Hispanic, from Spain you say, or Hispanic? Hispanic, Latin American. Uh, yes, yes, correct, absolutely. Because, uh, tell me about some of this stuff that we're, that we're looking at right here on the table. I mean, well, what is, just <laughs> well, pick, pick each, whatever, whichever one you yes, want to describe uh, to me. Let's pick. Uh, you were telling me about this one earlier before yeah, we I began know. the program <laughs> because it plays like maracas. Correct, this is, um, this is um, a pro ring and it's with gold and uh, with uh, these uh, little things that they are like a maracas. And the maracas, you know, this makes the sounds. And also the witches use that. So, you know, that's, too. so that's the, uh, the ring you would wear when you go to the discotheque? Uh, correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then you keep attention for everywhere. No, it's a, a special, yeah. But it's, I think it's fun. My jewelry is uh, more, more um, fun that probably that, uh, that uh, what is uh, make the jewelry. Some jewelry is very plain, very, very nice also. But mine is completely fun. When, you, when you first met your first success in Boston with eight pieces, yeah. how long ago was that? Uh, it was uh, eight years ago. So all of this has happened, all of your in, success has in, happened in the last eight years? Correct. In the jewelry business, yes. Did you ever imagine when you were an interior decorator that you would be doing a completely different uh, career change and then a completely yes, different... Yes, yes, because I've been, uh, design, uh, I'm desi I've been designing different things all my life. I've been, you know, painting all my life except in this period. This is the first time that I'm... I don't have time. You're just dedicated to I'm jewelry now. I'm just dedicated to the jewelry, but for the beginning I was painting and designing or painting and uh, making some um, interior uh, works for different clients and painting and something else. I've been designing uh, bathing soups, clothes, uh, I can design everything. And your, your jewelry is better known in Latin America and in Europe and even in the Far East than it is in the United States. Well, I, no, no, it's not wise. <laughs> now it's going to be, I hope so. Um, because I start, you know, in, uh, to tell you the truth, it's a big responsibility to be here in the States because, you know, there are a lot of competition and there are thousands very good designers all over and I wasn't ready for that. Now I think I'm ready after all these years, you know, because quality and and people here is very, you know, they really know what they want and uh, they look for good price, good quality, the best they can have. So now you're in the major leagues competing yeah. in the United States. <laughs> I hope so. I see. Yeah. And, and, and you have brought a new collection of jewelry that you're introducing to the United States Correct. this year. Yes, yes. This year is, is been like, uh, I've been here for, for a long time, but let's say now I'm, I'm ready and this is the first time that I, I, um, I make my uh, official debut. Yes, mm -hmm. let's say like that. We have some students here from Rutgers University who are helping out as uh, models today and they're modeling some of your jewelry. And the first one is Anne-Marie Rodriguez. She's wearing a necklace and a ring. And tell me about what she's wearing. Well, she's, uh, she's wearing a necklace with uh, corals and uh, also a ring with um, a tiger eye on silver. Let's look, at the, uh, let's look at the ring now. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And, uh, now, all of this stuff you design on paper, is that correct? Correct. And Absolutely then, correct. Uh, I wish that I can design in, uh, in, um, in computer, because now everything goes in computer. But unfortunately, I don't know how to turn around the radio almost. But, uh, and also, that, that design, it, it was, uh, it also could be uh, as a bracelet. So it could be worn as a bracelet yes. as, w as well mm -hmm. as a necklace? Correct. Okay, and our next uh, model is uh, Kathy Vega, and she's also wearing, wearing a necklace and a ring. Yeah, that uh, necklace is uh, on turquoise, and uh, the ring is uh, on silver and gold, because the little figurines are on gold and also in turquoise. And uh, the good thing with the ring is that it turns. I mean, it's... it's 
Show us how it turns, Kathy. It turns, the, oh yeah, yeah, I see it how turns. it turns. And uh, which is good on this is because I have this, uh, I create this year for this collection and probably if they will be in the most things I can. Mm -hmm. It's uh, those little figurines, they, they, they are called Prak and uh, they will be in everything, in necklace, uh, uh, bracelets and uh, rings and uh, if I design uh, one day a bag or something, like that, they will be also there. Our next model is Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa Perez is wearing, wearing a necklace, a bracelet, and a ring. Let's uh, look at what Vanessa's wearing. Tell yeah. me about that. Vanessa is wearing a silver necklace with a heart. Uh, that heart could be in the front or in the back or in, um, in the side, whatever. And she's wearing two bra bracelets on silver and uh, one ring with a cameo. And the, I think the mo I, I love the models because they're very young and uh, they show pretty well what I want to express with this line. That uh, it's for a young people. I mean, very young people. They can wear it very easily uh, without. Uh, they don't compromise themselves. You know, it's it's bulky, but it's at the same time they it's easy to wear. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go back to the way you design these things. Mm -hmm. uh, what you do is you, it's not a three-dimensional thing though, or is it? Well, it, 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 when you when you sketch a ring, for example, how I do you do that? Is it a flat uh, uh, design? Or? Normally, I sketch a ring flat, and then I make the the sides and uh, the the way that I want that it appears there. Normally, you make the flat, and then you make the sides also. And uh, and you have a shop in in Caracas in Venezuela. I have an office in Caracas. Where, where and, is from the, where in, is the jewelry made? Now it's in uh, now it's make all the models are made in Caracas. But uh, if I can uh, reach the uh, U.S. market, uh, they will be made here because I have everything ready to to do that. And you have relocated yourself. You're living in New York City now. Yes, correct. So yes. you're making a full-fledged uh, approach at the U.S. market. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And what kind of support have you received from the people who have seen your line in this country? The, I think, uh, I want to say very good. I'm very happy, very, very happy. Um, everybody told me that it's very, uh, very well done and uh, unusual also and I have a lot of uh, personality and uh, and um, basically th that is uh, very, very well. Uh, the finishes are very w good. Mm. And my line is gold, is 18 karat gold. And um, the silver, of course, is uh, 925. Uh, we but also have another, a fourth uh, model, uh, Joanna Amaratus. Uh, what is Joanna wearing? Joanna is wearing a, a ring and, uh, and a um, belt. Which is this bell could be also uh, a necklace. There are two necklaces that, that they uh, you can connect it. Oh, so it, 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 it's two necklaces connected becomes a belt. Correct. And by itself, it's a necklace. Yeah, correct. And by itself, uh, there's a necklace that makes you, that gives you the opportunity to to wear two necklaces, which is very in fashion now, or a belt, or uh, you also can um, uh, how you say that. Uh, Tell me in Spanish. In Spanish, okay, good. Adornar. Adorn, yeah. Yeah, the address. Mm -hmm. If you wear it, you know, depending how you wear it, and it's um, and the neck and the ring, it's um, opals and the little frags in gold on silver, and also yeah, the turns. One thing I wanted to ask you because I understand that you are an innovator in this area. Uh, is the they use now the practice I see in jewelry all over the place of combining silver and gold? Yes, yes, I I, I love that, and I um, I think it's. Uh, you know, in the old days, if you never. bought jewelry, it was either silver or gold, and Correct. there were people that were silver people yes. and people that were gold people. I was, I was a gold person because myself. Most, I never liked silver. Yes, correct. And most now I love silver combination of both. Yes, I think it's a great, 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 great because also. Silver looks completely different as uh, the white gold mm -hmm. because white gold looks uh, more opaque and the silver is shiny. Then the effect between the gold and the silver I think is absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. and I, I love it. And also it's less expensive. Mm -hmm. which is L Less gold. Correct. <laughs> then is, uh, which is also very, very important. Mm -hmm. 
And people to these days, they want things that uh, they can wear without uh, a lot of uh, compromise, you know, and being scared then if they have to be robbed or this, or if they lost it, how much they going to lose. And, and so I think it's... How, how scared should someone, someone be who owns one of your jewelry? Uh, what is the price range uh, oh, we're talking My price about? range go, goes from uh, $350 dollars until um, let's say two thousand two thousand dollars yes. to three hundred and fifty dollars three hundred fifty dollars something so that's that's marketable yeah that's, I think so yeah. yeah it's very good they look very expensive people get this that's very people funny. are intimidated by oh it? yeah people get intimidated when they look my jewelry say no 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 they don't even want to uh, ask me how much it is no then when they know say, oh but this is a very good price actually Hey, you see, it's a very good price. Mm -hmm. Anne Marie Rodriguez has more stuff to show us. What is she wearing now? Uh, Anne Marie Rodriguez, uh, she's wearing now um, the necklace that uh, also you can uh, inter interconnect with another one and be a belt and a ring. Uh, the ring is in silver and uh, with the little figurines. I see that you do this really huge ring, it's very wide. Yes, is that I love the style it. nowadays or is that your well, style? It's, I, I, since I started to design jewelry I, eight years ago, I can tell you, I, uh, I always designed very, very big. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. It was like that. People started to tell me, you know, this is not sellable. Most of the people say that, you know, this, you are not, not, never going to sell this. Never, ever in your life. Say, why? No, because it's too white, it's too this, it's not, nobody's going to wear it. Then slowly, slowly, everybody starts to design You prove them wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I have, from the, the good thing on this is that I have from the beginning all my pictures from my work, and then I can, uh, I can tell. And sometimes I have to look back and say, oh, this, this is, looks great, looks fantastic. Let me do it again, mm -hmm. because I, everything is different. It's not, uh, this uh, They're is... They're all uh, unique, each piece is unique. Correct. It's not repeated 10 correct. times over. Though in, in gold, yes. That's why I make this uh, silver line, because they, uh, it, this silver line, they, they will be, um, how do say that? Um, Repeated over and over, copied. Cor correct. Okay, I see. It's, it's ready to... So I imagine the one that is unique is a lot more expensive though. Because they're buying something that no one else has. Yeah, but um, not as, as expensive as that, that probably could be. No. It's no. affordable. Very affordable. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the next model is uh, Kathy Vega again. And she's uh, wearing a necklace and a ring, I, I think. Okay. Uh, yes. And a bracelet. Okay. Okay. The, the necklace is, um, is uh, she's wearing a um, necklace um, gold chain uh, with uh, a little silver uh, fruit, which is a papaya, which is a very... Uh, very typical fruit from uh, Venezuela and also from many countries that they are, um, they have this uh, wonderful weather all year around. And she's wearing this, uh, the uh, bracelet, this is in gold and made and shiny. And um, you can notice that uh, they have my uh, initials, NMB, all over uh, the bracelet. Mm -hmm. And it's the same in, that, 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 that we show before in silver. And the ring, it's in gold, and it has just a, a, a ruby on. It's a hard ruby. And this is one of the rings that are not so... Um, <laughs> in bulk. Correct. Okay, so uh, you've won or you've participated in a, 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 a designers' uh, exhibits. I understand one major one in Paris that Correct. sort of was a breakthrough for you. Yes. Tell me about that. Oh, it was a very nice experience. Um, I was invited to participate in a, an, uh, it's like, it was a fair in uh, La, La Stuillerie. And it's, it's, uh, it's like in like, the garden of La Stuillerie. And, um, I was there with um, 150 more designers from all over the world. And I brought my jewelry and it was a f wonderful experience. And also I met so many designers from all over the world. And I still having some friends that uh, French and from all over. Mm -hmm. 
And it's very exclusive thing to be allowed to even participate there. Well, they they are very very concerned about who they uh, they show there. I mean, they ask you to to uh, send all your information and also some of your. Uh, um, uh, pictures of your work and your prices and your quality and the, this is very important uh, you cannot participate in that if you don't pass customs in in Paris mm -hmm. as well as here but the thing is that they they take the, all the jewelry and they they um, look in a one by one piece and they test the gold and it has to be 18 carols, because if not, you they they just don't you cannot show. They feel it's like you cheated if you. Oh yeah, them. no, absolutely, no. 18, 18 carats or more or no, 18 carats. No, no, 18 carats. Mm. No, no more, no less. 18. Wow. Which is uh, as they have, uh, they are very concerned. No, they protect very much their jewelers. They have, they, you know, Paris, France is uh, is uh, one fashion of the capital of the world. Fashion capital of the world, not only that, for the jewelry also. They have a lot of jewelers, very good. Mm -hmm. And a lot of beautiful uh, jewelry also stores. And let's they protect the, very much. Let's look at the beautiful jewelry Vanessa is showing us now, Vanessa Perez. Okay, Vanessa is showing a beautiful necklace with an emerald. And, uh, and, um, and the emerald is very beautiful. <laughs> As you can see, oh, yeah. with uh, nothing else. The emerald talks by itself. And the chain, it's a double chain, um, sold together. I mean, it's, uh, that makes uh, the design very interesting. And um, then the ring, it's a pro ring with uh, cabochons of uh, emerald and ruby. As well. Mm -hmm. Do you feel proud of uh, what you've accomplished in such a short time? Or are you oh, are you happy with yourself uh, as very, a very proud. as a Latina, <laughs> successful Latina, making yeah. a breakthrough in the United States? Um, yeah. it, it, you I know, it's a it. tough frontier that you're crossing. Correct, <laughs> but I'm, I feel very happy. I'm, I'm I'm very proud. I work a lot. I mean, it's not uh, just by coincidence because I mean you have to really work. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, oh, yeah. How often, I mean, do you design every day? Do you walk around with a notepad and, and, and take and, and that's draw, draw yeah, little sometimes, things? Well, I don't design every day because I design collections. Then that means I, I design each collection for a season and I get my inspiration according the season. Let's say in um, Valentine's, then I design everything with hearts, which I adore, as you can see, <laughs> because I have uh, many. And um, or in Christmas, you know, more dressy, and, and then I use more diamonds. Normally, I don't use many diamonds. How many collections do you do? Uh, I normally, I do three collections a, a year. year. A year, which is a lot because yeah. it's fun. I remember this piece by piece, and then it's they go on very fast, mm -hmm. and then I have to create and, more. <laughs> and where is this stuff sold? Now? Yeah. Uh, well, now, in, uh, of course, in Caracas, in my um, uh, that area, and now I'm going to be in uh, in New York showing in um, in a uh, little in a store, and inside the store I will be there from uh, 18 uh, November 18. It will be the opening until uh, probably January 18, until. I have my permanent um, address. So you will have a shop of your own eventually? Correct. Yes. I see. Yes. Your own boutique? Yes, I hope okay. so. And All right, let me look at uh, the last thing I think we have uh, models showing is Joanna Amaratas again with, uh, what is she wearing? Uh, she's, she's wearing a bracelet, a bracelet with, in gold and uh, citrines, a cabochon citrines, and uh, a ring uh, with um, I need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's far away, yes. Okay. Um, with, um, it's beautiful, whatever it's beautiful. it is. <laughs> we can't see it uh, from here. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a cabochon ruby. Yeah, with a cabochon ruby. Correct. So what's next for you in a few minutes that we have left? Tell me what, uh, what are your plans, what are your goals? Okay, my goals are first um, to be in a, a big store here. I mean like, um, 
I don't, I don't know if I can say uh, names or something like that. Can I? Yeah. Sure. You want to be oh, as yeah, big as, yes. uh, <laughs> as anybody? I want to I, I wanna be in, in sax or something like that, you know, with my silver line. And then uh, um, have my own um, boutique with my gold line. This is, uh, those are my goals. Mm -hmm. And with time, continue doing my um, um, collections with uh, designers. I've been working with designers. You know, and so your home base will be New York, but of course you'll be taking this stuff all over the country. Uh, yes. Especially like Hollywood and places like that where Correct. you can find a lot of customers. <laughs> for as it. much as I can. Yeah. I, wanna, I want to introduce my life in uh, all over, if mm -hmm. it's possible. And people like, of course, because this also is uh, depending on uh, what they think about uh, what they see. If somebody bought a ring from you and said, listen, I like this ring so much, I also want you to do uh, interior decorating of my house. Uh, you, you, yes. Do yes. you still do that? I, I still do that, yeah. <laughs> so, I still do that. But no, no, uh, with no charges. But please, <laughs> I help friends, you know, oh, I to... See, I see, but you're not in the business of no, it anymore. No, not anymore. And I'm not anymore in the business. But I help friends, you know, to... I have a lot of friends that they ask me to do their, their houses. And could you please help me see? Of course. And I also enjoy it very much. Well, we've enjoyed having you on the program, and we wish you very good luck with your, with your career, with your new career, if it if still can be called new, eight years old. Yes, eight years old. Um, but your new venture into the United States market, I think it's wonderful that, to, that a Latina is making this kind of a statement mm -hmm. uh, through your jewelry, and, and we're very happy to have had you on the program. We wish you good luck. And, Thank you. Uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing your name all over the place. We'll go to a boutique in New York where we can afford it. I'm Miguel Perez, and I'll Thank see you, you next week on another edition of Images Imágenes. Hasta pronto.